Hello, and welcome to another edition of Creative Crafting with John G. Today we're going to make a watercolor door sign so people will know what you're feeling before they knock on your door. Today you're going to need some watercolor paper, some watercolors, a brush, glue painter's tape, a three-hole punch, and a straw. I'm using a eyedropper. You'll also need your imagination, uh, some string, yarn, or an eye hook, and remember to embrace all the little imperfections that may occur while you're making your sign. I'm going to start by taping my watercolor sheet down to a clipboard so I have a nice flat surface to work on. I have taped the watercolor paper down, and you'll notice that I've also put some tape here in the middle. Hopefully the tape will stop the paper from curling because with watercolor, uh, the tendency is the paper will curl because it's wet. So tape is good. I've also put the tape in the middle. Um, I believe that's where I will actually write out a message um, for people to read before they knock on my door. So let's go ahead and start painting. Uh, you can paint however you want if you want this all to be one solid color if you would rather use crayon or colored pencil there's even watercolor pencils whatever you would like feel free to do it um, I just chose watercolor today because I find that nice and relaxing so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some out and that is paint on a brush. Ooh. What I've tried to do here is that I've gone ahead and put down a big drop of color and then I took the eyedropper, or a straw preferably if you have it, and blew on it so that the paint would scatter kind of all over the paper. And it, sometimes it makes these cool little splotches, and sometimes it makes these almost tree-like branches. So I finished my painting, and you can tell that I went ahead and put some more globs of paint down. I had to run and get a pen and disassemble it and uh, blow through that to get the effect I wanted. But I'm gonna let this dry and then when it comes back, I'm going to take off the middle two pieces of blue tape, which should give us some nice clean white paper. And then we can put our message there. We'll move on from letting that dry and we'll uh, almost be done with this side of our sign. I've gone ahead and removed the tape and in doing so I made a smudge already so remember that it doesn't need to be perfect. And now I'm going to write my message. Here is my sign with the words alone time. I will hang this on my door so that my family knows I need some alone time to reflect on life and or play a video game. Other things you could write. I run out of toilet paper. Leave me alone. I bet you probably could think of better ones than me. I've gone ahead and removed all the blue tape. I have even punched my holes and next I will use some yarn or string and make a loop for the sign to hang on your door. I've finished adding my yarn and I'm going to hang it on the door and I will take some photos to attach so that you can see it hanging on the door and when your family members walk by they will know not to bug you because you are reflecting on the existential qualities of our current situation. <laughs> 